What's going on? What is going on? It is your boy, Smooth Blaze, and I'd like to we welcome you back to Walking with a Purpose, Walking with a Purpose, Embracing the Journey Before You Reach Your Destination, Episode 10. Now, before we get into anything, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit that notification bell, select all, so you would not miss one video. Now, a couple weeks ago, the topic that we discussed was, is this a lifestyle or just a goal? When you're creating a lifestyle for yourself, it's something that you're going to do on a consistent basis. A goal, something that you hit, and then after that, you just do your own thing and go back to what you've been doing. So, determining between what's the importance of those things and how we can make our lifestyle something that we can maintain. For this week, the topic for this week is, is it important to move in silence? Again, is it important to move in silence? And what I got from just this topic was the art of discretion. In life, you can't tell everybody what you're doing. In addition to that, you can't allow everybody's opinion to be inside of your spirit or your soul. So you have to have a tunnel vision and do what you got to do. Here's some things I've learned about myself, just a few points. First, you can't tell everybody your vision and dreams like I stated before. Some people are there to destroy it, some people are there to grow it. You just have to determine what it is. Mind the vision that pays you. Just because certain things are going on around you does not mean that it's your priority to take care of it. Just understand where you at, understand where you're going. So mind the business that pays you. Next. Stay grounded with your morals and character. No matter what you do in life, no matter how you move or what you're trying to control or what you're trying to do, make sure you're in aligns with your morals and your values. Let my actions speak loud in words. Show people by your work and results. Once they have that, they can't say nothing to you. Finally, don't allow what you see to deceive you. Meaning, just because it looks like it ain't going to work doesn't mean that it's not going to work. Because at the end of the day, you have to have faith that things will work above your own understanding and allow God to lead that. But just because you're going through hell does not mean you will not get to the other side of the fence. So in addition to that, what healthy habits have I created for myself? One, setting obtainable goals weekly. Don't put a goal that you have for yourself at a ridiculous climax and think that you're going to hit it knowing that it's going to take you three months to do that. Hit realistic goals weekly. Give yourself grace on the program that you are in. Meaning that when you give yourself grace, understand that just because you don't hit a certain thing don't mean that you're not doing anything. The progress that you make matters more than anything. As long as you make a project towards something, it's going to get done. Three, Pray before you make a move. Regardless of what you're doing, make sure you pray, ask God for guidance and instruction so once you move, you can move accordingly. That's very important. Number four, make it a priority to read the word. Being in line with God and creating a stronger bond and relationship with him matters. He will give you discernment in different situations to either move forward, to go, not do it, or just to wait. Last, um... The amount of negativity that you consume. Don't allow so much foolishness to distort what you're trying to do. Let that be. If you can get away from it, be away from it. Sometimes just zone out and don't even think about what they're saying. Focus on what the positive results can be. Consistently put money aside for your future. I don't care if it's $10, $20, or $100. Put certain things aside to pay yourself so when things happen in life, you will be ready for it. That's something that I do for myself. And also take control of your physical and mental health. We get one body and we have one mind. We have to mind it and cherish it the best way that we possibly can. Now, when we're looking at our time, you have to ask yourself this question as you're going through life and you're trying to figure out exactly how to move in silence. When I realize how important it is to be discreet, I wonder how much time I really wasted. When I'm going out here talking about everything, doing this, doing that, and say, well, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. 
I'm wasting energy, I'm wasting time. So if it don't come out the way, I'm looking stupid. You have to understand how much time that you wasted previous for doing that versus moving now. When it comes to relationships, there are certain people in your circle who always brag about their next move. Are these relationships healthy or toxic? And in some instances, when you're dealing with people that always have to brag about certain things, it gets exhausting. It could be a good thing if you're a person that is not as confident in what you're doing and you're dealing with somebody that's bragging about that and kind of brings you confidence. But if you're a person that knows what you're capable of and you hear a person always bragging and going off and saying, oh yeah, I'm doing, I'm about to do this. All right, cool. That's fine. I might need to move away from you because you destroying what I'm trying to do over here, which is being low key and handling my business grinding underneath and behind the scenes so when it comes to your money let's talk about it when i realized i've blown so much money so much how did i get how do i feel really how do you feel when you get your paycheck and it goes right to bills and you only got 300 dollars left when you realize you are destroying and what you've done to destroy yourself, you have a humbling moment of, man, if only I would have done better here, I could have made better decisions financially. Those are the realities where moving in silence and not doing certain things help you out in the long run. Now let's talk about faith. It's always the center of everything. Faith. When you be when you when it comes more difficult, do you lean on God when your life is in shambles? Does your connection get stronger or do you run from them? We all going through things right now. It's rough. It's 2024. Things is going wrong. Things are getting more expensive. So in those aspects, what can we do currently to make sure that it's a little easier for you? My thing is during those times that we're going through hardship, do we gravitate towards God or do we run? Because in a lot of instances, people run because it's too much. But God is trying to tell you, look, I got you. Just allow me to come in and let me handle this business. You do the, you, you do work still, but I'm going to make sure you get over this hump. So that's a big thing with faith. The faith level is very important. Now, since my goals and dreams have come to life, we're here. we creating a whole new mindset. We're discreet. We're grinding. We're getting it in, moving in silence. Why should I remain discreet? I'm going to give you a few tips on why. Number one, it keeps up at a humble state of mind. Meaning, you're level. You're not thinking too highly of yourself. You're not thinking low to yourself. It just keeps you level. Two, you create a pattern of positive energy. That's always essential to navigating in these spaces. Positive energy to get rid of negative. Money turns into an asset, not a liability. You get to control what you do with your money and how to move with your money on a whole different scale. You can imagine the next generation. You can inspire <laughs> the next generation, meaning your movement, your actions, what could have a domino effect on your future kids or people that have inspired and look around with you. Always keep that in mind. Also, you will better value your time and energy, meaning as you navigate through this life, you realize I don't have a lot of time and my time is very valuable. So when people come in or things come in that are not beneficial, you move away from it, which is very good. Lastly, you gain wisdom on who should you stay connected to. Your circle matters, who you continually talk to matters. Just know that if they not solid and they not doing the things that you're supposed to do and y'all not on the same page growing, it may be time to cut some people off. So always keep that in mind. These are the essential things that you need to understand the importance of being discreet and what this does to you. Now, as we close, I'd like to take, thank you for taking the time to check out my channel. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Select all so you will not miss one video. Now, before we move on, I want you to keep this simple phrase to you. We cannot control the hand that was dealt for us, but... We can move with purpose. It is your boy, Smooth Lays. And I'm signing out. Peace.